We'll get started on our backs, actually. If it feels good in Supta Baddha Konasana and Butterfly, or with just knees up, or in Shavasana, if you're just ready to get right to the good stuff. So lay on back, and resting your hands wherever it feels good. Maybe one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, or maybe you're ready to just open up, finding that goal pose shape, or just down at your sides. And just take a moment to breathe and connect. In this strange time, maybe you all have been able to connect to some people that you haven't in a long time. Or maybe you're connecting with some hobby or interest that you have not connected with in a long time or something completely new. But in this next hour, I encourage you to connect with yourself. Connect with your feelings, with parts of your body that maybe go ignored throughout the day. Connecting with full inhales and exhales. There are so many things in our bodies that we can connect with. So just take a moment to start to introduce that communication with your breath. And then with your breath, we're going to start to make a connection with your low back. So with your breath on that pace, on your inhale, you can feel the arch of your back. So you can feel that low back disconnecting to the earth. And on your exhale, pull your belly in, belly button towards your spine as you press your low back down into the mat. It might mean that your knees start to come together a little bit and that's on your inhale, disconnect, find that arch. And on your exhale, press into your midline and down into the mat. Continuing with your breath, inhaling into the arch. Exhaling to squeeze everything up and in, maybe even your feet squeeze together, maybe even you lift through your Mudiana Bandha, through that pelvic floor. Exhale as you push out, opening up. Exhaling as you constrict and pull in. See if you can also have this constriction happen from your core and not from your glutes. So for me, the tendency is to want to squeeze my butt cheeks because they're the big, bigger muscle group. See if you can let your your glutes be relaxed and really identify your low core muscles and that pelvic floor, maybe even inner thighs. If you'd like to go into some bigger muscle groups and find maybe even a bigger core action, on your exhale, as you're pulling everything in, maybe you also lift your feet so your butterfly shifts up towards the sky. On your inhale, releasing down with control, finding that arch. And on the exhale, pulling everything up and in. But only choose this if you are completely pressed into the mat with your low back. If your low back is still arching, then really work to press out into that low back. Working at the pace of your breath. By pressing into our low back, we're taking this action out of our hip flexors and into the core. One more round here. And 
and then squeeze your knees into your chest. Really make contact with your whole back here. Rolling side to side, maybe finding some circles. Good. And then bring your legs so that your, your shins are parallel to the ceiling. So your knees are bent. Yeah, you're making that right angle. We're going to just tap right foot down on the inhale, keeping that connection to your low back and inhale back up, or exhale rather back up. Inhale, tap, other foot, exhale, pull it back in. Good. So the challenge of this movement is keeping that right angle and not letting the knees go beyond the hips. So your knees are going to want to come in towards your chest if that's easier, keep them just above your hips in line. Your low back is also going to want to come off the mat. If that happens, just bring your knees into your chest, re-glue that low back down, pull the belly button in, and start again. If you would like even more action for your core, your upper body can twist. So the opposite elbow is going to the opposite knee. Your, for example, if your left toe is tapping, your left elbow is going towards your right knee. Two more here. Last cycle. And once again, hug knees into your chest. Open arms to a big T. Let your knees fall to the right. Ooh, hello spine. And then go ahead and twist to the left. And then back up to the sky and start to rock and roll front to back. We're going to make our way into a cat and cow position. So finding your all fours, however you get there, no wrong answers. Inhaling your gaze and tailbone up to the sky and exhaling, pulling belly button in to open through the back. Continue to move with your breath. Exhaling down. One of the benefits of Zoom yoga is that I notice how hyperextended my elbows are. <laughs> and if you have that as well, maybe finding a gentle bend in your elbows. It helps also fire up those triceps and protect all of your joints. Yeah, nice, y'all. You know that you can hover those knees off the mat for added core, or you can bring the fingertips towards your knees for added stretch through the elbows. Yeah, just make it feel good. Wag it out. Nice. Oh, that looks nice. We're gonna do that. Inhale as you open up for cow. And exhale as you press back to your child's pose. Slither like a snake, keeping your nose along the mat. Inhale, coming back up to cow. Exhale as you round back to your cat and into your child's pose. So just connecting with that wave-like motion. Inhaling as you expand up and exhaling as you contract. Two more just like this. And exhale back. Last cycle. All right, let's do this thing. Coming back to your all fours. Create that strong base for your hands as you press back to downward facing dog. 
Pedal it out, walk it out. Oh, hello, calves. Hello, hamstrings. Spreading your toes nice and wide, getting all the way up and down the backside of your legs. Shaking your head, yes and no. Check in with your shoulders. Once again, with those elbows, finding that soft bend to avoid hyperextension. If you have that tendency like me. On your next inhale, we wave forward to high plank pose. Pausing here for five breaths. Checking in with your wrists underneath your shoulders. Checking in with that low back hollowed out. Think of that imaginary floor on top of your back that you're pressing against. Pulling that belly button in. Two more breaths. Last one. Exhale all the way down to your belly, maybe knees, chest, chin, stacking palms underneath your forehead, windshield wiper your knees side to side, connecting with your belly this time. Yoga has a great way of connecting us with all sides of our body, so just take advantage of that awareness. Feeling our backs and our bellies and our tops and our bottoms. Every nook and cranny. Inhaling to a gentle cobra, just opening through the chest, strengthening the back. And exhale back to down dog. It's time for sun salutation A. Take a deep breath into your down dog. Exhale as you step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhaling to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep into the sky, mountain pose. And exhale, clasping your hands, send your hands to the right, hips to the left. Inhale back up, switch your grip as you open to the opposite side. <laughs> Inhale back to center, open your wrists up to the top like this. And exhale, dive forward. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back to that high plank pose and set yourself up for your vinyasa. If you would like to move through chaturanga or if you'd like to skip it, that's totally cool. You know what to do. Good. Let's do that again. Big inhale. Exhale completely. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. This time, connect your hands together, pressing evenly as you move through the center of your body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, pausing in your plank and then moving through your vinyasa. Awesome. One more Sunday. Big inhale. Exhale all the way. Step or hop to the top. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Rise to the top. Big inhale. Feel your feet connect to the earth. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, pausing in your plank and moving through your vinyasa. Yes, 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 welcome. Big inhale as right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, pausing here for three breaths. Stay connected.
On your third exhale, step forward to the top. Stay low in this plank. We're going to connect left hand to the mat, right arm reaches up to the sky. Gentle twist here. Good. Good, good. Take another inhale. Sweep the arm around. Open that shoulder. Exhale as you sweep the ground. Inhale as you sweep to the sky. Last one. Exhale, planting your hands. Coming up to warrior one. So your back foot comes to the back of the mat. Inhale, sweeping to the sky. Yes, nice. Opening your arms to goal post arms here. Feel that openness through the chest, but then the tuck under of your hips. That's going to help protect, take that arch out of your low back. Good. Connecting to our breath here. On our inhale, we open out. Exhale, bring the elbows together, but keep those shoulder blades smiling behind you. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze elbows, but keep shoulder blades together. Inhale. One more time, squeeze. Inhale, warrior two. Good. On your inhale, we're going to bring the elbows down to the sides now. So again, the shoulder blades are squeezing back behind you. Inhale, keep that squeeze as you open fingertips. Exhale, elbows to your sides. Inhale, back to normal. Last time. Inhale. Exhale, back palm up and over, side angle. Reaching towards your front. Yes, beautiful. Maybe you challenge your core by reaching the bottom hand out. One more big inhale. Exhale, coming out slowly with control, reversing your warrior, maybe reaching up to the sky or to the head. Staying low in that front knee, letting pinky toe Sorry, knee open towards pinky toe, rather. Take another inhale. And exhale all the way down to the mat. Vinyasa. Awesome. All right, left leg. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, holding for three breaths. On your last exhale, step forward to the top. Stay low in this lunge, connecting with your alignment. So as we twist, try and stay just above your right hand as it plants into the mat or into a book, your left hand up to the sky. You can look down and check yourself. That your spine, the crown of your head is in one straight line back to your back heel. Yes, good. And then we find a little air guitar. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, sweep it up and around. This is the Bill and Ted's excellent adventure move. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent to each other. Yeah. Last one. Exhale, plant. Warrior one. Create that strong base. Connect your feet to the ground and then rise up with purpose. Big inhale. Exhale, open to those goal posts. Feel the shoulders still releasing down your back, but the shoulder blades are strong back. Yes, I see that, Mindy. Take an inhale. Keep that connection as you bellows close. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Check in with your core. Exhale. 
Your inhale opens up warrior two. Good. Pulling that belly in. And then exhale, pulling the elbows into your sides. Good. Inhale, keep that openness. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Up and over, we're inhaling into our side angle. Extend through that left side body. Enjoy that stretch all the way up the armpit into the fingertips. Yes, keep that core engaged. That's protecting your low back. Find that added challenge if you did on the other side, reaching the bottom arm out like you're serving a platter. One more breath. And come on up. Stay low in that front knee. Reverse your warrior. Take brave breaths. Opening between each rib with your inhale. Last one. And ride that exhale all the way down to the mat. Awesome holds. Moving to your vinyasa. <sighs> Nice. All right, we're gonna flow, y'all. When you're ready, right leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, with control, step forward to the top, warrior one. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, one squeeze of the elbows. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior. Down to the mat we go. Moving silently as you step back. Left leg inhale. Exhale with control, stepping forward. <laughs> inhale, connecting to the mat, rise tall. Exhale as you press into one squeeze. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, up and over, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, all the way down, vinyasa. We're adding on this time, right leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Inhale, rising up, go posts. Exhale, squeeze them together. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten the front leg. We're coming into Trikonasana. Connect to an imaginary wall behind you as you reach and then pivot on your side. Yes, beautiful. Gorgeous alignment. Maybe looking up to the sky, maybe looking down to the ankle. Maybe reaching that bottom arm out for that added core. One more big inhale here. And exhale, bend the front knee coming out of this, straightening as you reverse your triangle. And down to the mat we go. Left leg, inhale high. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one, goal post. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
Exhale, find your alignment as you straighten that front leg, opening your shoulders back. Slide forward and then down for your triangle. Seeing your whole back against that imaginary wall, maybe even your right hip. Good. If you took that challenge on the other side, reaching the left arm out, three breaths here, we got this. Connecting to your feet. And gently bend that front knee to come out. Yes, nice reversing back into your reverse triangle. And down to the mat we go. Moving through your vinyasa. And then making your way to a child's pose. Once you get to your child's pose, reconnecting with your breath. Reconnecting with your purpose for your class. Maybe it's to connect, connect to yourself, connect to some part of your body that has been ignored. Connect to some awareness or just to stillness. Rising up to downward facing dog when you're ready. Take a big inhale to prepare. Exhale completely. Step or hop to the top. Moving into our chair series. Keeping your feet hips distance apart for the series. Inhale, rising up to a wide legged chair. Oh, yes. Good. Take a big inhale to open through the chest. And on your exhale, mindfully tuck that tailbone under. For me, especially when I'm doing yoga at home, that's where I tend to lose my focus is when I find that arch in my back. So I'm tilting my low back under. Good. With that strong supported low back, take an inhale. And exhale, airplane your arms and squeeze your knees together. Inhale, open and sink lower. Exhale, squeeze together and back. Inhale, back. Exhale, waiting for the bathroom at Starbucks, asana. Inhale, back up. This time, if you'd like, add a challenge. Airplane, exhale, squeeze, and heels off the mat. Good. Pausing here for three breaths, sinking lower and squeeze. Checking in with that tailbone. One more. You got this. And exhale, heels plant and fold forward. Ooh, yeah. Find your favorite forward fold here. Maybe clasping your hands behind your back. Maybe bringing your palms face up under your feet. Or maybe you gently bend one knee and the other, checking in with that booty. Good. On your next inhale, zip your legs back together and we're going to come back up to chair pose. So this is a, a fun little challenge. We're coming into a figure four shape. So your right ankle is coming over your left knee. And then this is our twist that we're going to take today. So bring your hands to your heart sinking lower into your hips. 
and then find a twist connecting the elbow to your foot. Feel free to fly here, opening arms out. Feel free to cheat and touch the floor or anything that brings the floor closer to you. Three more breaths here. Sinking lower in that standing knee if you can. With control, try and come out of this slowly. So you bring yourself back to center and then back to standing. Oh, okay. yes. Woo. Shake it out. Do, 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 do. So fun, right? <laughs> hey, Mindy's heating up. That's a good sign. <laughs> Inhale, chair. And bringing your left ankle this time, or whichever side you didn't do already, bringing your hands through your center, really connecting into that midline helps with balance, I swear. We're sinking our hips back and then finding a twist on that axis. Maybe your elbow comes to your foot, maybe not. That has to do with so many things, not just flexibility, but just your dimensions, etc. So don't worry about it. If you're finding a twist, you're finding a lot of benefit. Opening up if you did on the other side. Thinking of your feet, your foot on the ground, opening wide into the mat. Sinking deeper into the hips and deeper into that standing knee. Two more deep breaths. And on your next exhale, make your way back out. Ooh wee. Yes. And release. <sighs> Shake it out. All right. Big inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back to your plank pose. Move through your vinyasa if you wish, or we'll meet you in downward facing dog in two more breaths. Nice. Right leg, inhale, high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward, setting up against, again for warrior one. Inhale, rising up to your warrior one. This time, clasping your hands behind your back. We're coming into humble warrior here. So open through the chest. And then on your exhale, try and keep the heart over your knee as you fold forward. The head eventually is going to tuck down underneath. Someday, one day, getting underneath that calf. If you're pretty flexy through the shoulders, maybe you think of bringing the heels of your hands together, but not at the expense of your elbows. Just be gentle. Breathing here. You want to challenge your balance, you can step forward onto that front foot and hover the back foot. So you're finding a warrior three with a bind. If you found that challenge, gently step back and everyone release the arms. We're going to open up into a warrior two. Good. In your warrior two, we're not gonna be here long. We're actually gonna sink back into skandasana. Good. So you're sinking your hip back towards your left heel and fanning the toes of your right foot. Yes. And my knee doesn't wanna do this today, but some, for some of you, it might feel good 
to re release your hands either at your heart or up to the sky, or maybe bind back behind you. And then feel free to help yourself back up or do it with no hands and we're going to come to Skandasana on the other side right away. Banding those toes to the sky. Yes, nice. Trying to keep that right heel down to the mat if you can. Someday, one day. And then back to center, big inhale, reach up to the sky, X pose, whoa. And exhale all the way back down to the mat, moving through your vinyasa or skip it and we'll meet you in down dog. All right, left leg inhale. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Awesome breath, y'all, I can hear you, it's awesome. Clasping your hands back behind you. This time, do the opposite hand on top. So whichever one feels weird is probably the one you didn't do. Opening and surrendering. So the tendency for me in this posture is that I want to send my left hip out. Try to connect everything back in towards your midline so that you can feel your body all in underneath itself. If you found that challenge on the other side, lift off when you're ready. Found that challenge, check in with what muscles you don't need to complete it. Your jaw, your shoulders, your face. And then stepping back. Everyone releasing your hands. Inhale, warrior two. And we'll skandasana once again to the back. Just two breaths here. And then up and over to the other side. And then back to center. And this time pause and prasarita. So finding a pigeon toe in your feet and then folding forward. Maybe adding a little gravity behind your head. Or maybe getting a little deeper into your inner thighs, walking your hands to the right foot and then the left. We'll be here for a, quite a few breaths, so take your time. If headstand is in your practice, and no pets or partners will be harmed in the effort. Please feel free to play with that. Your next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, rolling all the way up, bending your knees. Inhale, sweep your fingers to the top, reaching to that big X. Close your eyes and feel that connection to the earth and to the sky. Feeling your whole body.
And on your next exhale, all the way down to the mat we go. Inhale, coming back to your plank pose. And step off the mat with your right foot. Stepping back onto the mat, step off with your left foot. And back, right, and left, and left, and back. Continue moving, maybe a little faster. Right and left and right and left and or if you'd really like a cardio challenge maybe both together both together both together both together five four three two and back center on one and slowly lower all the way down to your belly Taking a moment to connect with your heart beating against the mat. Maybe your right cheek comes to the mat. And then your left cheek. Bow pose is next. You're welcome to come into um, half bow if this feels like too much for your knees. So I'll talk you through half bow and then we can come into both bow together. So in half bow, I just set myself up reaching back for my right ankle with my right hand. And then I do the same thing on the other side. If you like to come into full bow, I like to keep my forehead down on the mat and then reach back for my ankles. Try to keep my knees together as much as possible, flexing my feet. Taking a moment to press my pelvis down into the mat. So I'm really engaging my core and then kicking up and back. And in bow pose, there's a lot of rocking, right? With your breath. So that's okay. It's part of the discomfort. That's just a natural part of this posture. Again, trying to keep those knees together if you can, all in one line. Two more breaths. Last one. And gently release without slingshotting. Good. Bending your knees, windshield wipering side to side. Good. We're going to stretch out our shoulders a little bit here. So you're going to do that one sided bow pose again, but then we're going to flip it on its side. So I'm reaching back for my right ankle with my right hand, and then I'm just going to flop over on my side like a fish and open back into my full bow. And you're welcome to reach back and stay in that, or you can just have one side stay in your one sided bow and support yourself in whatever way feels good. Taking a moment to really open through the heart, through those pectoral muscles that we just worked in our plank. And then flop on back over. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, so your left hand comes to your left ankle and then flop over to your left side. And then either reconnect to find your full bow 
or plant that foot and reach back, whatever feels good and open and supported. Check in with your head too here. Is that kind of an awkward angle? So just kind of make peace with that. Not holding up your neck, your head with your neck for any reason. Just kind of connect with where it wants to fall and trust that. Big green breath into your heart. <laughs> and back to your center. Do whatever you need to do on your belly. Jiggle it out, shake it out, or just breathe deep into your belly for one or two more breaths. And then we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Exhale out all your air. And step her up all the way through coming to a seat. We're going to play with an arm balance. It's a pretty silly looking arm balance, which is why I like it. It's not the one that you're probably gonna put on your Instagram, but it's worth doing. So it starts with um, cradling the baby. So you, I'm starting with my right leg up and cradling my shin and my forearm. And then I'm going to bring my right shoulder under as much as I can my right and then you just sniff your feet and you're done no I'm just kidding you can pause here and it's a great place to just stay forever but the arm balance is bringing your right hand down and your left ankle up and over so you've created this weird little fish fin and then here's the hard part it's getting up and over so that you're making chaturanga arms but the legs are resting on your right elbow. So I bring my body weight up and over and send my legs out. How are we doing? <laughs> no, you're like, what the heck are you asking me to do? <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Up and over. Yes, you got it. And then, huh! yes, that's it, Mindy. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Part of our balances is just learning to not take ourselves seriously. That's really the whole point of our balances. Let's just even ourselves out on the other side. Just hug your baby. That's really the most important thing. Give yourself a cradle and a rock. This is really Rosie's fault for wanting to work on booty things. <laughs> Just getting the stretch for the booty. I'm so well balanced. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and then, if you'd like to play on this side, up and over, and then getting my left hand down first and then I bring my right foot up and over and then the challenge is getting your body weight up so you're kind of straight through the elbows first and then you bend once you get your legs back so it's up and then over <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's not the one for the Instagrams, <laughs> but it's a thing. All right, let's shake that out. So we're going to open the legs wide to a straddle. Uh -huh. Inhale your arms up to the sky and just sway a little side to side here. Good. 
On your next inhale, tuck that right arm down and around to press your body open, stretching into that left side. So think of opening up to the ceiling, sniffing that left armpit, opening through the chest. Fanning the toes to the sky. Good. And then back up. Maybe you're ready to go a little bit wider. And rocking side to side. And this time tucking the left arm under, pressing against with your elbow against that thigh to open your chest up and over. And I like to kind of press into my belly too, to just kind of remind my core to stay engaged, even in these seated postures. And back up to the sky. Oops, sorry. And then we're coming forward. So inhale back up to the sky. You can either bring your hands back behind you and open here, or you can start to bring yourself into a forward fold if that's available. Be gentle on the knees, maybe even guiding the knees upwards to keep them shining towards the sky. The tendency for me is that my knees start to bend inwards and that can be kind of intense on the joints. So keeping those toes pointing up and the knees pointing up. Maybe finding a gentle rock, reconnecting with your breath and your sits bones back behind you and a lift through your pelvis, your pelvic floor. And then back up to the sky, migrating your legs back together. We're going to find a forward fold, but actually on our back. So we're coming into plow pose. So it's the same thing as a forward fold, but with your back back. So I'm bringing my legs up and over. And then staying in that plow pose if you enjoy that stretch for the hamstrings. Otherwise, lifting your legs up to the sky for your candlestick. Shoulder stand. Jiggling out the legs. All those standing postures today. This is always a posture where I notice the hole in my pants that I didn't realize I had. <laughs> there. <laughs> cool. That's another beauty of Zoom yoga. And then releasing your feet back behind you, bringing your palms facing down so you can really slow this transition, connecting to each vertebra as you lower back down to your back. Supine pigeon is next for Rosie's booty. We're bringing a right ankle over the left knee. Bring that whole party into your chest. If you're not feeling this as much in where you want it, another option in, in this same position is to bring your knees together and reach down and grab both angles, ankles. So that's a supine cow face pose. So there's no wrong answer. One just gets more into the side and one gets more into the top of our butts.
and then release this side, shake it out, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So if you found either your supine pigeon or your supine cow face. And then two more breaths. After your second breath, releasing into any last posture that's calling to you before we make our way into Shavasana. If a wheel is in your calling or a happy baby or a twist, whatever is calling to you, go there now. And eventually then make your way into your Shavasana. And know that your Shavasana can be any shape that feels good to you, like legs up against a wall or even on your belly. Or back to that butterfly shape, whatever feels good, no wrong answers here. Reconnecting with the breath. Pranayama. The life force. 
awareness. Your breath is always there for you, to connect you to the present moment, to reconnect you to your body, to yoke your mind and your heart. Breathing deep into each finger and toe, stretching across your mat. And then making your way to a fetal position for just one or two more cycles. And you're ready to come to a seat, come to there. Connecting your hands together if you wish. I'm so honored to be a part of the day and a part of your practice. Namaste.